to show you how you install a um, more explosive mod for Minecraft 1.5.2 on Mac. Alright, so as you can see, you download from my Dropbox, download MC Patcher, you open it up, like so. Let load. As you can see, this little thing should pop up. Okay, once you got that open, just set that over to the side. What you want to do is, I've already created a file. Where is it? Uh, anyway, I have a file right here. Mods for in Minecraft. Just make a file, doesn't matter what it is. And click, uh, and just so have the file, and then you want to drag your other mods into it. As you can see, I have a lot of mods I'm working on, but you just drag your mods into it so you have a place to collect them all. And usually, if this is the only thing you're doing, just loading this up right here, that can go really fast, but since I'm doing the screen recording, it's really slow. So, I'm sorry about that, but anyway, once this loads up, you want to... Here, it's gone faster. Please watch my YouTube videos that I have. Other ones, subscribe, like. Anyway, let's load this up real quick. Okay, when you go into your MC Patcher, you won't have any of this. You'll just have all these ones that come stock. You can have them on, but I just uncheck them. So all you gotta do is uncheck them, and it'll work. But anyway, so you can go like this. Just uncheck. Don't click unpatch or patch or anything. Alright, so let's just turn those off real quick okay what you want to do is you want to go into your mods add mod once you get to this point it's a lot faster but the screen recording takes it but anyway you might it might show up as uh, like you or it might show up as the hard drive or whatever whatever it shows up as then you want this is where you want to get it. You want to go to, uh, let's look here. Users. You'd want to go to your users, whoever's using it. Then you might want to get, you go to desktop, and then you scroll through and look for the file right here. And then you want to select your mod. Make sure if it's in, make sure it's in a zip file. Because if it's not in a zip file, then you can, but it's like a regular file. Then you can just go uh, and click. Like if I go in here, see this, this is in a zip file right here. I can just right click it, click compress. And when I click compress, it um, turns into a zip file. So then you just select your zip file, and then you click like here. I'll do this real quick. You select it. That will pop up. You want to push OK, OK. As you can see, it'll pop up. I have two more explosives right there. But I want to I remove this one real quick. If you can remove apps like that. But anyway, you want to select all your mods, okay? And then you want to... Too many items works with this. But forget about too many items right now. I have another one showing how to do that. Anyway, then you take... Uh, Minecraft Forge and more explosives, you want Minecraft Forge over it. If it's not, like Minecraft Forge is under it, you just push up to make it go up. Then you want to um, click that one and click that one. I'm going to go ahead and click this one because, you know, I'll show that later. Anyway, actually, just if you want too many items, I'll put a download link in my thing. And all you got to do is do the same thing that you did with those. Minecraft Forge, more explosives, and then too many items. Once you got that done, you want to patch it. It'll say, oh, conflicts between blah, blah, blah. Forget about that. It most likely is going to pop off that. doesn't mean anything. Now, if you're on an older operating system and running Linux on your Mac, because you can run Linux Minecraft on your Mac, you can, if you do that, then I'm not sure if these mods work. I haven't had any experience with that. But anyway... Um, so, let's just see here.
adding files. It, as I said, it take it's a lot faster. But anyway, blah 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 blah. All right, it's loaded. So you can go into your Minecraft, or you can click this Minecraft. I'm just gonna close this out because it's being slow. I'm just gonna go to my Minecraft. I'm gonna log in. There we go. Log in. Logging in. Okay, this will pop up. It means the for it's Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge. It that means it's running. It might say zero percent the whole way like this, or it might have a loading bar, but it either works. At your first time doing it, it might take a couple minutes, but usually it doesn't. Mine's a lot faster, as I said, without the screen recording. But anyway, it will load up. If you guys are wondering what I'm using to um, record my screen, I'm using QuickTime Player. If you get on the QuickTime Player, right-click it. You can uh, do uh, new movie recording, new audio recording, or new screen recording. That option is not available right now since I'm already doing one. But anyway, that's how you do it. It's free as long as you have quick time player. Oh, if this thing would load up, please load up. Okay, you're now you can see this looks a little bit different. You have another bar mods, and then you have uh, all these. Now make sure you're playing on worlds that have cheats enabled because if it doesn't have cheats enabled, it might not work. But anyway, you can click on your mods and see what mods are running, whatever you like. So anyway, you can click done. Now you get a single player or multi multiplayer. As long if you're playing on LAN world, if you're playing on the LAN world and your friend or whoever has the same mods, then the mods will work. But if they don't, it won't work. So you go in this world. Um, anyway, here let's go. This is one of my worlds I'm making. I have a download link for um, this world that I'm going on. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, I might need to change my render distance so it's not super laggy. I have it on far right now. I'll get a tiny. Okay, let me push escape. Options. Uh, video settings. Short. Let's just do that. Uh, let's do peaceful. So now you can see uh, you get your inventory. You can see uh, there's your too many items working, but you can see your mod and that. But anyway, if you go over here the search, if you scroll down, not clear to the bottom, but up a little bit, you can see your mods. There's your stuff. You got all your goodies. All right, thank you for watching.